before we start the demo, uh, why don't you tell us uh, what uh, VW cars will be supporting this new IDAI system? Yeah, there are two different types of two different stage. That's ID7, ID3, ID5, and ID bus build on it. And uh, this AI assistant will be part of that. So we start with the ID7. This side of the stage you see the I with the platform improve for the other brands and our cars like the T1 start will stay on. Introduce that as we have started here with the ID7. So all the new platforms in this year will have this uh, new assistant by AI. Incredible. I know when we were starting out the project, uh, uh, I loved VW's vision of having a completely hands-free experience in a car to enable safer driving. Um, and uh, I know that uh, mostly what people want to use in a car when, when driving are car-related functions. <coughs> Do you want to start out by giving us an example of that? Yeah, okay, sure. Um, let me start with the climate control. For example, by numbers, you can uh, uh, change the temperature in the car, like, uh, hello, Ida. Turn on the temperature to 74 degrees. All right, I'm setting the temperature in the right front area to 74.0 degrees. Wow, this is magical. So if you notice that it only changed the temperature on the passenger side, exactly. um, yeah. we have the Saren's audio AI that detects, right, like yeah. from the audio yeah. that you're on the passenger side, yeah. which is incredible. May I give it a try as well? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. So um, there are two ways you can access the yes. Yeah. And I can also use the button on my steering wheel. Yeah. Now, instead of saying uh, a specific temperature, I'm just going to say uh, in a more natural way. I am feeling cold. Okay, warming the left front side now. Incredible, so it just uh, increased the temperature by two degrees here and uh, making my side or the driver's side a little warmer. Yeah. Uh, another thing, uh, you know, most people through our joint research that we know uh, use the navigation application a lot. Yeah. And one of the things when you're using uh, navigation in car is you always have to enter a destination, you have to do some planning. Uh, what would be a different way of uh, using navigation with this new AI system? Yeah, may I give you a short example? Sure. Hello, Ida. Find the, find the restaurant nearby. Search for a restaurant in the vicinity. For example? Oh, I from the list. Okay. So another thing would be, hello, Ida. I need medicine. There are multiple search results. Could you please select entry from the list? So this is an example where you use uh, LLM reasoning capability and you just ask for medicine and then the LLM reasoned and then it sent a, a query back to the navigation system and the navigation system need to pick a nearby. So can I give it a try? Yeah, because sure. uh, one of the things that happened to me on this trip is yeah. uh, when I came, uh, I forgot my, my phone charger. Okay. Uh, so let me give it a try. I want to buy a phone charger. There are multiple search results. Could you please select an entry from the list? So as you can see that it gave me all the computer shops where I can I can buy. Another thing I always uh, like Indian cuisine and I like to try out different cities I go. Um, I, may I try and see if Ida can help me with that in Vegas? I want to eat butter chicken. There are multiple search results. Could you please select an entry from the list? This is great. Yeah, but you can add on something else. Hello, Ida. Recipe for the chicken. According to Chat GPT, to make butter chicken, marinate chicken pieces. Yep. I'll be, I'll be coming over to your place. <laughs> <laughs> 
This is this is great. Now let us switch. This was about LLM reasoning. Um, let's switch to um, showcase some of the LLM general knowledge use cases. I know one of, one of uh, trips uh, that we like to take is from LA to Vegas, and oftentimes you have uh, young ones uh, in the car, and it's kind of hard to keep them entertained. Can you show us how Ida can help us uh, ease our trip? Right. Hello, Ida. Tell me a story about Thomas. According to Chat GPT, once upon a time, in a lush ancient world, dinosaurs ruled the land. These magnificent creatures. I know, I know this will keep uh, my kids entertained for a while. Another example is that whenever I'm in a car, uh, my middle daughter, uh, she uh, competes in Science Olympiads and she always wants to have a conversation with me. And sometimes I don't understand like what projects they do, so I'll just give it a try here. Give me an example of a science Olympiad project. From Chat GPT, one example of an office science Olympiad project could be creating a sustainable energy model for the office building. This is incredible. Uh, I mean, there's so many yeah. ways, and it's, it's really, really addictive. Yeah. I know that uh, AI safety is a huge topic that's out there, and uh, VW was uh, very particular about uh, the content that's shared in the car, and, and so there is a filtering capability where VW can filter the content. Obviously, we're not going to demo that because the content, by definition, is not appropriate. But uh, there is another cool feature where VW can define um, their own utterances. Uh, would you like to give an yeah. example of that? Hello, Ida. Thanks for the best cars. From ChatGPT, there are several companies that are known for making high quality cases, such as Otterbach. So this is great, like, uh, <laughs> you can find this in a unique way. Uh, let's end this demo by uh, asking our last question uh, to Ida. May I? Yeah. Give us the uh, last few words uh, for the audience attending this press conference. From Chat GPT, thank you all for attending this press conference. Your presence and engagement are greatly appreciated. We hope that the information shared today has been informative and useful. If you have any further questions or require additional clarification, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you, Excel. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you.